Hello friends, it's Bishra Gul and today I am going to tell you about introns and exons. Before discussing about the introns and the exons, we should recall about the central dogma of molecular biology that describes the two-step process that is transcription and translation, by which the information in the genes flow into proteins. That is, DNA is converted into RNA first and then RNA is converted into protein. Transcription is the synthesis of an RNA copy of the segment of DNA. RNA is synthesized by the enzyme called RNA polymerase. There are two parts of the genes, that is exons and the introns. Exons are the coding regions and the introns are the non-coding regions. We can call intron as intervening sequences and exons as the expressed sequences. Exons are the coding areas, introns are the non-coding areas of the gene, exons are the DNA sequences represented in the final RNA molecule. But introns are removed from the final RNA molecule before it is translated into protein or converted into mature RNA. So introns are removed through RNA splicing. The mechanism of removal of introns from a gene before it is translated is called splicing. So this mechanism involves the removing of introns and after removal of introns, the rejoining of exons or the connection of exons by the covalent bond is called splicing. So what is the purpose of the introns in the sequence of the gene if they do not code any protein? Although they do not code any protein product, but they are the integral part of the gene expression regulation. Some introns themselves encode functional RNAs through further processing after splicing to generate non-coding RNA molecules. So they are the part of functional RNAs. They can function as functional RNAs. They can code functional RNAs. Further, after alternative splicing, by the alternative removal of introns, we can produce multiple proteins from single genes. So, although they do not code any protein, but they are useful in the expressions of the gene and the formation of the protein products. In this figure, you can see that the black color is showing the exons and the purple color is showing the introns. After transcription, the mRNA copy that is single-stranded, it possesses exons plus introns. So, this RNA is called pre-mRNA because it is not converted into mature mRNA. You know that for converting the pre-mRNA into mRNA, there are some modifications that are done on the pre-mRNA, that is 5' cap and poly a tail at the 3' end of the mRNA and the removal of introns. These three modifications are called post-transcriptional modifications. So splicing or the removal of introns is actually a type of post-transcriptional modification that results in converting pre-mRNA into mRNA. So this mature mRNA do not contain any blue or purplish part, that is the introns are removed from this RNA molecule and now it can be converted into protein.